Hey there YouTube, welcome back to Daz Bartley My Life. I'm in a different room today, um, I'm in my spare room just so I can use the photographer light so you can get a, a good view of my face. Uh, this is purely just a video um, talking about McJugger Nuggets. Um, he has a YouTube channel, um, I'll put them in the description below. Uh, basically, if you don't know who McJugger Nuggets are, is, sorry, he's uh, a guy that lives in New Jersey in America. I needed a whole complete series uh, called the Psycho series. Basically, his dad just destroyed everything they own. Basically, his name's Jesse, Jesse Ridgeway, um, a.k.a. McJugger Nuggets. Well, anyway, he wanted to play video games for the rest of his life um, and basically make money on it. Uh, but his dad didn't like the fact that he was just sitting in the house uh, playing video games all day. So he basically destroyed everything. Every time Jesse went to play a game online or whatever with his friends, then his dad would just come in, literally take the Xbox, PS4, Wii, whatever it was, out, and he'd either axe it, chainsaw it, uh, throw it in the river. Um, yeah, and basically he just used to go absolutely nuts when his dad broke things. He must have, there was one episode that I remember. Um, that I think was one of my favourites. It was when his dad got a collection of all of his games, took them on the grass, got on the lawnmower, sit on mower, and just ran over the whole lot. And uh, Jesse was just out there screaming. Um, and yet this went on for, I think it was about 18 months. He did a year, 18 months. Um, and he really made his audience believe that it was real until the very last episode where he revealed everything. Um, they. It, Turns out it was all it was all a series. It was all a, sh a fake show, um, but he made us all believe uh, that it was real, and uh, I really enjoyed it. But now he's just getting up to the point where I reckon there's a documentary about to start, and him and YouTuber Twenty Four. I'll put his his link in the description as well. Um, are battling at the minute for co uh, for rights for the documentary. Jesse wants to release some behind the scenes of the Psycho series. For about a year straight now, I've been watching his videos every day. He used to do two uploads a day. Uh, he's gone back down to one upload a day. Uh, just pure vlogging like I'm trying to do now. And since it came out as a fake series, um, it has actually inspired me to do a lot more uh, through vlogs and living in a, with a disability. Um, I want to try and get a bit of vlogging. Hopefully I'm waiting on a cameraman so you can follow me around with the camera um, so I could show you downtown uh, how I got on a bus. A uh, couple of weeks I'm actually getting a tattoo. So yeah, that'd be fun. He's literally just going to follow me and uh, you can see how I get on and off the bus. Uh, me getting me tattoo. Hopefully I won't cry. <laughs> um, so yeah, as I said, I've been watching his videos every day. And I think he's actually, I think he's incredible at what he does. Um, to get the whole 3 million subscribers to believe that it was real. I mean, I believed it was real. To the point where he nearly, where, where he shot his dad. Um, I knew that wasn't real. And from that point, really, I kind of kind of knew it wasn't real. Uh, but up to that point, from the year, below, the year before that, up to that point, um, was pretty spot on. I really believed that it was real. <laughs> Uh, so yeah, this has inspired me to do more videos for myself. Um, hopefully get my viewings up. At the minute I only have 50 subscribers. But you never know. People start to know me. Uh, knowing that I actually live in a wheelchair. Living in a wheelchair. I don't live in the wheelchair. Being in a wheelchair doesn't actually affect your life. I know I keep repeating this over and over again in all my videos. But watching him has made me realise that he's always said... Follow your dreams, and they will soon become a reality. Um, I've always wanted to be well-known. I've always wanted to be famous. I've always wanted to be well-known for my disability and how I get around. I already inspire some people around the town where I live now. Um, in fact, probably the whole island, because uh, I have a Manx blog out. And that's in a previous video. It's called The Manx Tales. Uh, thank you message, it's called. So yeah, I have a blog now that's island-wide. 
um, that gets out the free courier every month. So I get 450 words and that on pay on a page. Uh, so that's just telling you roughly, you know, how I do things, how I cook, how I do my washing. Well, how Evie does my washing. Um, just basically, like, you know, getting up in the morning to what I do for the whole day. Um, going to bed at night. Uh, all my hobbies, like doing my YouTubes. So, yeah, that was just a quick message. If you're watching this, Jesse, I want to thank you for everything you've done throughout the series and following on with the vlogs as well. Um, I was really, I was glad you didn't stop the channel after that um, because I'd have nothing to do. So, <laughs> uh, so, yeah, so I want to say thank you so much and keep doing what you're doing because I just love watching your content. It makes me laugh every time. Um, especially Uncle Larry and Joe Bump with the the pranks that you're doing at the minute. The paintball one, Jesse, was absolutely ace and big brother. Um, so yeah, if you're watching this, Jesse, thanks very much. And I will see you in the next video, guys. Oh.